Hello everyone. This is the video of Legal Studies, Class 12, Unit 3, namely Arbitration, Tribunal Adjudication and Alternative Dispute Resolution. And in this video, I will revise the entire unit. Okay? So, if you have watched all those videos developed or published on unit 3, then it is very easy for you to understand this video. Okay? Because in this video, I am going to use only the terminologies, no explanation at all. Keep in mind. But the benefit of this revision video is it will give you the clear picture of all those terminologies used in this unit and what are the relations among all these terminologies. So you can make the picture of unit 3 on one page so that it will help you to understand as well as memorize the major concepts. So let's start. So as we have seen that, that is primarily we have the litigation though it is not part of this unit as alternative dispute resolution because it is it is core adjudication process that is litigation and secondly we haven't studied litigation actually but in this topic we have studied about the adversarial system and inquisitorial system okay so both the systems of adjudication are part of litigation not ADR actually but since it was in this chapter so I included with the heading litigation okay otherwise litigation we hadn't studied in this unit keep in mind the second and the major one that we had studied under this topic that is ADR or alternative dispute resolution and what are the major points that we have studied under the ADR are meaning of alternative dispute resolution, reasons of growth of alternative dispute resolution, benefits of alternative dispute resolution and types of alternative dispute resolution. Now we will see the further classification of this unit that is basically types of ADR. So, what are the major types of ADR that we have studied under this topic are the first one of course arbitration, second one is mediation, third one is conciliation, fourth one is lok adalat, fifth one is ombudsman, sixth one is lokpal and lokayukta and the seventh one that is administrative tribunals. Likewise, we have studied seven methods of alternative dispute resolution in this unit 3. Okay, now let's check out the further classification of this unit. Okay, now we will see the further classification of arbitration. Okay, so arbitration, what we have studied under this heading? The first one is of course meaning Second one is characteristics of arbitration. Third one is types of arbitration. Fourth one is laws on arbitration. Fifth one is process of arbitration. Next one is advantages of arbitration. And the last one that is disadvantages of arbitration. Further, under the heading of laws, we have studied about arbitration and conciliation act okay that is the law regarding arbitration and next one under the process we have studied four steps of arbitration remember okay now we will see the further classification of our next term that is mediation okay so let's check out what are the topics that we have covered under mediation the first one of course is meaning, second one that is types of mediation, the third one is process of mediation, the fourth one is advantages of mediation and the fifth one is disadvantages of mediation. So we will see the further classification of this term, especially 
the process that is under process we have studied the first one is appointment of mediator second one is opening a statement third one is joint session fourth one is caucus and fifth one is agreement and settlement okay likewise we have studied five stages under the process of mediation okay now we will see the further classification of conciliation i mean what are the major terminologies that we have studied under the heading conciliation okay first one is of course meaning and concept second one is of course laws third one is process of conciliation next one is advantages of conciliation and the last one is disadvantages of conciliation under the process we have studied that is appointment of conciliator first step second step is joint session and the last step is agreement and settlement okay now likewise we will see what are the major terminologies that we have studied under the heading lok adalat okay the first one is of course meaning and concept of lok adalat the second one is nature of cases that is referred to lok adalat okay next one is types of cases that is referred to lok adalat next one is laws on lok adalat okay and next one is levels of lok adalat and the last one is advantages of lok adalat so under the heading of lok adalat we have studied these terminologies okay now under the heading levels we have studied see what are the things we have studied actually the first one is national lok adalat that is at national level second one is a state authority level lok adalat okay third one is high court level lok adalat fourth one is district level lok adalat fifth one is taluk level lok adalat okay so these five are the ad hoc basis lok adalat and we cannot count that in this hierarchy rather we have different category that is permanent lok adalat okay and the mobile lok adalat so under the levels we have studied this much okay so this is all for this video i mean that is under the heading of revision of alternative dispute resolution i hope it will help you to organize all the terminologies that you have studied under the heading of alternative dispute resolution that is basically unit 3 okay so during the exam time it will help you to mug up the things to recall the terminologies and their relationship with each other okay so so see you in next video with new unit keep watching